Okay. Bezrat Hashem, we continue with Perik Vav. Pasuk Tet. This is where we left off. No, we did Pasuk Tet. No, we didn't do Pasuk Tet. Mechila. We did. We stopped at Tachin Bakait Lachma Agra Bakatsir Maachala. Right. We, we that was uh, the 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 end. Uh, yeah, that was the the what we learned from the end. So now Shlomo Amenach says, Ad matai atzel. I know we did Ad matai atzel tishkav. No, matai takum mishenatcha. We didn't. Okay. Ad matai. Yeah. Ad matai. Ad matai until when atzel? You lazy. Tishkav, you will lean, lay down. When will you stand up from your sleep? So obviously, as we said, yeah, um, we learn from we learned from the end to be proactive and take and and and, and value chokma, value midot, and value good deeds. And uh, and Shlomo Amelech essentially exposes the the atzlut, the laziness uh, through a disconnect of the person from his chokma by sleeping and from uh, being engaged and alert of what's going on by closing his eyes. If you remember, right? These are the two uh, flaws and the two uh, uh, mistakes or reasons or causes why a Talmid Chacham or a Dayan would end up making mistakes. So, and then the Shlomo tells us to go and what's the, the solution? Go on from the end and, and it's it and, and everything good. Now he says, Ad matai, ad sel tishkav, until when, until when, you, the lazy, you will lay down and uh, right, and you will stand, uh, wake up from your, from your, uh, from your sleep. So the Gaon explains. He says this is this pasuk is uh, referring to. A learning that we have from Chachamim, that Chazal tell us in Avot, Im en anili mili, ve'im lo achshav ematay, right? If if im en anili as mili, if I don't do it for myself, im en anili, if I am not myself, who will be? Ve'im lo achshav, and if I don't do it now, ematay, when will you do it? So says says the Gaon. This is referring to Chokhmah, to learning the Torah, and to Maaseh and to actions. Im en anili, if I am not myself, mili, who will be? He says this is referring to the Chokhmah. Meaning, if you don't learn, who will learn for you? And if you don't think, who will think for you? Chachamim basically tell us that we have an existential responsibility to enrich ourselves with wisdom and, and knowledge and with chokhwa. And we have an existential obligation to push the thought process in our head, to use the muscle of the brain to think. Because if you don't do it, nobody will do it for you. What does it mean? Im en anili as mili. The pshat is as if if you don't do that, then mili, who who is you? Right? Who's who, who's going to fail you? The, the, nobody. Even yourself, you're not. So who are you? Essentially. You are the 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 
the the chokma that you gain, and you are the 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 wisdom that you use. And if you don't do that, then you're you're, you're inexistent. Mili. That's the, the 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 continuation of the of the of the Braita in the Mishnah in uh, in Pirkei Avot. It says this is referring to actions. It says actions. If you don't do it now, if you're not re pro proactive, then when will you be? The gun tell, basically tells us that if you live a life, a reactional life, you're never going to be proactive. You need to engage. Now. If you don't engage now, when will you engage? When will you be proactive? You'll never be. You know why? Because you'll always be in a cycle of, of, of reaction. So the proactivity, the power to yield and create an action will never exist, will never be, 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 uh, be awoken. And he says, this is why it says, Achshav. why does it say Hayom? Vim lo Hayom ematai. If not today, then when? You could have said, if not today, when? Why did Chazal say, if not Achshav, if not now? It says, because even during the day, every moment is an opportunity to be proactive. So every moment you have the chance to start. Every achshav is an opportunity to start. So he says this is what, this is basically what Shlomo Melech is coming to rebuke, right? The people that don't do that, right? He says, he says this is referring to somebody that lays down. What is he not doing? He's not doing actions. He can be laying down, but thinking. So he says, until when will you stay in the position of laying down? Until when will you will you tolerate? to stay inactive. Matai takumi shenatcha. When will you stand up from your sleep? He said, when do you sleep? You don't think. That's the chokhmah. So says Shlomo HaMelech, Ad matai. Ad says the Gaon, Ad means until when, meaning if you don't do it now, when will it, it will never happen, right? So he's saying, but if you don't start now to be proactive and stop laying down, even if you think you're thinking and start using your brain, start engaging with your Chokhmah instead of sleeping, you're never gonna get out of it. This is the the uh, the urgency. This is the the importance that a person has to integrate in his behavior or in order to constantly be able to learn what we've learned from the from the end. It's this itch, itch that that constantly pushes the person, right? On two fronts, on the proactivity and and on the stimulation of the chokhmah. <clears throat>
Good. Pasuk Yud. Me'at shenot, me'at tenumot, little, little bit of sleep, little bit of tenuma, we said it's closing your eyes, sounder, right? Me'at hibuk, yadaim lishkav, a little bit of, of, of uh, hugging, yes, lishkav to lay down. So there are there are two two ways to read this pasuk. One way to read this pasuk is this is what the, the that is what the atzel this is what the lazy says. Give me a little bit just a little bit more sleep. Let let me just lay down a little bit. Just a little bit. or let me just be comfortable in bed. Just one you know and feel uh, and feel hugged and feel comfy com comfy. Rashi, the Malbim, most of the, the Mefarshim want to learn this Pasuk as the, the, the thought process that goes through the, 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 the lazy mind, which is essentially what? I know I have to do it. I know I have to be proactive. But just, it's nothing, just a little bit more. Okay? One more minute. And they all say that this is the root of, that lead the lazy to his laziness and his handicap. Is the, uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the, the thought process, the approach of just, just a little bit more. When you think of, uh, of it, it's, it's very powerful. Because what leads a person, you know, okay, to, to, uh, to, uh, to be, how you call it, um, addicted. Just a little bit more. Just that's one more. One more, and I'm done. One more, and I'm done. How many? Yeah. And that that that's essentially how the yetzerahha, okay, holds on the person, and again, every let's go. But what he doesn't know is that that one little more is digging his his pit deeper and deeper, his hole deeper and deeper. So according to this mefarashim, mefarashim, this is the, the, the mentality. When I was in yeshiva, as a bachor, I had a... Uh, I had a thing to wake up all the Bachorim for, for, for Tfila. It would really bother me to see the Bachorim come down late in, uh, during the Tfila. So I took upon myself to wake up and then and, uh, Mamash go room, room, right? And wake up everybody. So, so a lot, most of them uh, uh, appreciated it. Some obviously they don't like it, you know, they, they don't want to be here. And you see a pattern in the behavior of the people that in the morning tell you, "Odaka, odaka, odaka ni Okay, give me, you know, give me a few minutes. I'll, 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 you know, I'll go. I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll come out of bed in a few minutes. That pashut, they they schlep themselves. You know, they they drag themselves. And this is this is the hidush. This is the hidush. That if a person is focused on the pleasure of the extra little bit, it means that number one, he doesn't see the big picture, and he's willing to trade, right? The the positive in the that that that, that is to come for the little bit. Of comfort that that is close to him at that moment he's entrapped in that comfort zone that he's in and his 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 um uh rationalization is is like yeah you're right I have to get out but it's only 
the, the comfort, I just want this conference just one more moment. It starts in bed. And it starts in the chinuch of our children in the morning to make sure that when we wake them up, there's no, uh, uh, another minute, another, just, just a few more minutes, just a few more minutes. We have to teach them and train them that that behavior is a handicap that they will carry on in life. Because that's how the Yetzirah gets you. That's the Mefarshim. The Gaon has a complete different take on this Pasuk. He says, we've learned and we know that when a person is asleep, he doesn't think. There's no machshava, right? We've, we've learned that. When a person closes his eyes, he's not in touch with uh, his surrounding. So he says, shenot me'at You have to give very little sleep to your machshava. You have to close your eyes very little. And we know that closing your eyes is being in touch with what? With your surrounding. It's the midot, like we, we, we've learned. We had Torah, Chokhmah, midot, and Maasim Tovim. So he says the, uh, the, the approach to growth and success as a Talmid Chacham, as a Dayan, the mentality to have, which is different to the Pasuk that we just read, right? The approach has to be Me'at Shena, very little sleep. Always, always have a vibrant and stimulated Chokhmah mind. Me'at Tenumot. When it comes to your midot, be always must giach on them. Always look out to, to your midot. Take, have your eyes on on the ball. Don't close your eyes. Don't disconnect from the reality, from the situation. Don't disconnect from where you where you're holding. Me'at hibuk yadayim lishkav says that has to its actions, right? It's masim tovim, it's actions. Says you you have to be zariz, you have to be very active and very zealous, uh, uh, zealous when it comes to actions. Your actions have to be filled with energy. So the, these are the three flaws. A lot of sleep in your mind, a, 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 a disconnect in your chokhmah, a disconnect with where you're holding with your midot, right? With the reality of, of, of who you are, and a disconnect with actions, lack of actions. This is what brings a person down. So it's a strong and consistent avodah on three fronts. And he says these three fronts fuel the three the three dimensions of man, which is Shamaim, Aretz, and Adam. Shamaim, the sky, is the Chokhmah. A spirituality. So the, the more you are proactive and engaged in your chokhmah, and the more your spiritual life, your spiritual presence is alive. With your neshama. Aretz is actions. The more you are proactive in actions, and the more you are blessed. And in osmosis, with Aretz, with the world, with physicality. 
Adam, that is what is the dot, is what connects the two. And that's the midot. With the midot, you connect spirituality and physicality. You connect the world of, of, of the olama emet, the olam the olam the olama elyon, with the olama tachton. For these re for these uh, reason, Shlomo Melech says that each one of them has a a responsibility of its own and hasn't it a me'at, right? Of its own. A me'at shena, a me'at tenuma, and a me'at chibuk yadayim. It's three verticals that are parallel to each other, independent from each other, but when you Engage in all of them, you tie all three of them and make it one. The right? The hood, the 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 rope that it has three of them together is extremely difficult to break. This is how you build a healthy, a healthy life. Pasuk Yud Alef. Any questions? We're good. We can continue. Pasuk Yud Alef. Uba kim halech reshecha. And it comes like uh, somebody that walks reshecha. Uh, so here again, we have to go back to uh, to uh, the the reshecha. Resh is uh, poverty. So the the uba kim the, the poverty will come, right? Uh, like somebody that's walking towards you. And what you're missing, Keishm again will run like uh, someone that's looking to protect you, like a man with a shield. Now, once again, there are because of, of the, 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 the last Pasuk, uh, Pirush, this Pasuk will have two, two Pirushim. According to the Mefarshim, it's basically almost like a curse uh, or or the, or not a curse but like a, the 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 outcome of the lazy yes if the fact that you're lazy will bring you poverty and will enhance and highlight everything that you're missing even more So laziness, and that will be according to the Mefarshim that says Me'at Shena, that's what the person, that's the behavior of the lazy, right? So by being lazy, right, it's, uh, poverty will come to you slowly. Meaning some, you're not going to go over a lot poor, but slowly, slowly, like the, you know, the poverty is going to start kicking in. And the person starts losing and losing and losing and losing and losing until one day he wakes up, there's nothing left. That's Umahsocha and the void, the void grows, will grow rapidly. The emptiness, the need will start extrapolating. This is the outcome of the the behavior of the lazy. That's according to the Mefarshim. The Gaon, because he took a complete different uh, path in in, uh, in Pasuk Yud, which was from a positive angle, what what you need to do in order not to be lazy. So he says, Ubakim Halech Reshecha. He says this is referring. He says it's, uh, uh, there's two ways a person will come will, will uh, walks to somebody else. One way is that he's just coming to visit. He walks calmly, but he's walking. He's and he's walking until he gets to uh, to to his destination. 
When you go to see a friend, you don't, uh, you know, you walk until you get there. You get there. However, if somebody, if somebody you love is in distress, okay, in serious danger, you don't walk, you run, right? Like you don't think, you run right away with all your strength. So he says, what you are poor of, comes to you walking. And he's going to explain what that is. What you are poor of will not come to you running. And what you are missing, what you, what you, what you are avoiding, comes to you running. Like a man with a shield of protection. He says, he says, Rash is referring to the mitzvot. Raev. But he brings the pasuk. Right? We say it in the Birkat Amazon. Kefirim, the lions, Rashu Veraevu, right? They are they are poor and they are hungry. Hashem, the people that and the Dorshim the one that always asks for Akados, they don't miss all the good. They have everything. He says that the, a person, what is he poor? A person is poor of mitzvot. Of mitzvot, we can be poor. But when it comes to Torah, ra'evu, we are hungry. What's the difference? He says, what satisfies hunger? Bread. Bread is a common commodity that you can find for very cheap everywhere. The actual bread. And the bread satisfies. So why are you hungry? You're hungry because there is something that's right there for you. So the hunger gives an, a, a feeling, right? A, a, an intense feeling because it's accessible. But poverty, poverty is some is 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 something that you don't have access to. Somebody that is poor, he doesn't have access to money. He doesn't have access to extras. It's not that he has access and he just need he just doesn't have it. So he says mitzvot. We are poor. Why? We don't have access to mitzvot. Mitzvot are opportunities that come to us. So the mitzvot, they come to us. They come, they pass by. One mitzvah passes by, another mitzvah passes by. No mitzvah rushes to you. You know, we're not magnets of mitzvot. When a mitzvah comes, we do it. We can, we can help triggering uh, to do more mitzvot, but at the end, the mitzvot have to come. So he says, Uba kim your poverty comes to you, meaning the, you, the, the, the poverty, what you are poor from, of, which is the mitzvot, kim they come to you, okay, slowly. So when they come, make sure to take them and grab them. Don't be lazy. Don't be non-reactional. Don't be not proactive. (laughs) 
And what you're avoiding, what you're missing, he says that is something that is accessible, but just you're right now, it's you're, you're avoiding it. That's the lehem. He says that's the, the, the limuda Torah. That's the Torah. He says this is accessible all the time. That comes to you running. It's accessible at all times. So don't let yourself feel the hunger. Don't let yourself feel the, 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 the void. All, basically what he's saying again is like if you understand the, the definition of, of the hunger you will never allow yourself to be hungry if you understand that being hungry is holding back from enjoying something that is accessible bread so don't Allow, don't let yourself be hungry because it's accessible it's here it's always here and it comes easy it runs to you so you cannot be hungry and when it comes to the mitzvot know that they come as they come they don't come all the time so when they come make sure to be proactive that's the, the that's the action so again, he's referring to the Torah. He's referring to the mitzvot. And as a man, that, that's the midot, right? That's the approach. Ubakim Approach the Torah as, as, so, as something that's accessible. That, you, that if you don't have it, you're hungry and you're not allowed to get yourself hungry. And look at the mitzvot as, as something that comes that you have to pro be proactive with. What moderates the two? What gives the outlook uh, to the two is the midot, based on, on how you work on yourself. So says the Gaon here, Shlomo HaMelech once again referred to Chochmah, mitzvot, and midot, to Shamaim, Eretz, and Adam, right? To take advantage of the, the, the opportunities that come to us. He bas basically, Shlomo Ameler is coming to tell us, Loba it's all accessible. As long as you're alert and proactive, you'll you'll you, you won't be poor of mitzvot, and you'll be satisfied all the time with the Chochmata Torah. And this, thanks to what? Thanks to the awareness of who you are and the midot and the work on your midot. The more you work on your midot, the more you are aware and in tune with the reality. And this gives you the, 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 the vivid presence in you to engage and be proactive on one end. And on the other, learn Torah and enrich yourself with a simulated mind. Yes, that. Um, so it, it sounds like Shlomo Melch is, is telling us don't only be involved. If I'm under, if I'm understanding this correctly, he's saying don't only be involved in learning of Torah, but actually in mitzvot as well. Don't what? Don't only be involved in the learning of Torah, but involved in mitzvot as well. Yes, for sure, for sure. <clears throat> well, okay. Since since because, Vav. Right, but, but it's interesting because. Talmud Torah can I get Kulam, right? So no, Talmud, yes, yes, but uh, uh, what's 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 Talmud Torah can I get Kulam? If I die, that you, that the, the the most important is the Limud Torah. But when a mitzvah comes, you have to call the mitzvah. You, you don't you stop your learning to 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 put your yeah. in. right? So you, put, you you don't learn to eat matzah, right? Right. It's a very practical. Hand it's basically hand you learn you you you. 
It's like this. You work on your you work, you have to work on your midot so that you have the desire to learn Torah all the time. You appreciate Torah, you look up to Torah, you enjoy your Torah. But you also work on your midot to have a, 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 a healthy outlook of life, to understand that now is the time to stop learning and engage in, the, in this mitzvah. Whatever the mitzvah is, Kibbutz Avayim, Ashavat Aveda, Baruch Hashem, we have 613 practical mitzvot, right? That can fill in a lot of our time. A lot. But those mitzvot, we can help triggering them. But most of them, they, they are mitzvot that pass because of their, their time, because of their season, the season, because of their nature. How, how does the go on? I'm not sure if I understood. Did he explain on the last part of the pasuk of Ish Magen, like an arm? Like the said? Ish Magen is somebody that has a shield of protection that I runs to protect. The is, is that that's Ish Magen is somebody that runs. That's what he said in the beginning. There's two types of people that go to someone. One that walks to them. That's the first one, Kim Halech, and the other one, Ish Magen, is is running to protect. Right. Somebody's in distress, you run to protect him. That's Keishma again. Good. So we're gonna we're gonna stop here. That now is uh, an ex, uh, the next pasuk is uh, engaging in uh, Another part of uh, of the peric. We have we have better clarity now also on what it means in the beginning of the, uh, what Shlomo Melech meant in the beginning of the peric, right? About the arevut, about uh, and, uh, about you know the handshake and uh, and being a guarantor, right? It's all all this is coming to to empower. The Talmud Chacham and empower the uh, the Tayan, the, essentially the leaders, okay, that took a position of leading, and and in in order to limit mistakes and damages. Tov. So we just we 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 just finished Pasuk Yud Aleph.